even though it is the first of the warriors. Warrior 1 is seen less than some of our other warriors. Warrior 2 we see much more when we're flowing through. So let's take some time to feel this pose in the body. A couple of different options to take if it doesn't feel so comfortable. Worry no more about that warrior. Warrior 1, number 1, numero uno of our warrior poses. So come to the top of your mat. And we're just going to take the left foot back behind you. Now, not as far as that warrior two. Maybe you've already taken my warrior two, little intro strike pose. Maybe not. Maybe it's next on your list. <laughs> but it's not as wide as that spread, right? A little bit of a shorter stance. And those back toes, those left toes, are pointing to the top left-hand corner of the mat, so at a 45-degree angle. Now, you're still bending the front knee, straight back leg, like we did um, in our Warrior 2, or like we will do in our Warrior 2. We're going to sweep that right hip back as we bring the left hip forward. We're trying to square off the hips like we've got two headlamps that we want to face forward as we journey into a dark night. Okay, so wrapping that right hip back, left hip slightly forward. Now you might adjust the legs, again, to make sure that knee is stacked over ankle. So you might take it a bit further apart. Now typically, really traditionally, the right heel matches up to the back left heel. But that's for people who <laughs> sort of traditionally taught to young boys, right? Ashtanga yoga very traditionally taught to young boys whose hips were tiny. Um, and so if, like me, you need a bit more space for your hips, take a bit more space, right foot out to the side, give yourself that space for your hips, and then face those hips forward. There's a slight like pressing forward with the bum to really activate that back leg. And then the arms rise up. And they could come palms together above your head, but check out what feels good on the shoulders. Maybe you just release the shoulders here. Keep taking that right hip back, left hip forward. <laughs> feels a lot more now, right? Now that you're checking into everything. Keep spreading those toes. And find a breath here. Release the shoulders away from the ears. And then bring the hands down, just step it back up to the front. Yes. Okay, so this time take right foot back. Let's find it on the other side. So setting up again, taking your time to set up. We hardly ever get this much time in these sorts of poses that we rush through in our flows. So left toes facing forward, right toes are at that 45 degree angle. It's a little shorter stance, but just play, start bending that front knee. Maybe you want to take it back a little. Just making sure that that front knee is either stacked over heel or maybe it's a little further behind it. It's not going forward. And so this time it's that right hip that's curling back, left hip bringing forward. Press the bum forward, almost like you're doing a little thrust, a little like grease lightning. <laughs> I don't know why I think of grease lightning, but like a greasy like pop, pop. <laughs> Pressing the hips slightly forward. Yeah, and then lift the arms. And again, make sure you've got that space between your hips. Now, if we have done this on both sides and you're like, something is feeling not right for me, I don't like having that back foot grounded, you can always find a lunge here, right? Sometimes that can feel really funny in our bodies, keeping that back foot grounded and it might feel tough, especially to get that front knee over ankle. So you can find a lunge. That's cool. You're still bringing those hips forward. You're still finding the similar strength in the legs. You're bringing the arms up. Just a slightly different way. So feel what feels good in your body. It doesn't look like one particular thing, right? Any of these. Because we all have such different bodies. So play with it. See what feels good to you. You will know. <laughs> I think sometimes we find it hard to trust ourselves, right? Surely it's the way that that person is doing it. Not necessarily. Standing up tall, but releasing the shoulders away from the ears. Take one more breath here. Straighten that back leg, front leg is bent. and then step back up to the front. Yes, warrior one, Virabhadrasana one, 